Hi and welcome to All About Podcasts. Promoting your podcast may be limited to text, transcripts, codes, and audio snippets. So today we're going to add another into the mix and that is audiogram videos. Now, yes, you heard it right. And although a quick search on Google may give you, well, something not podcast related, it's actually just a matter of bad naming choice, I guess. We'll probably have to call it something else to avoid confusion. So don't forget to leave your suggestions on what you think it should be called. Now, audiogram videos actually gained traction when WNYC released their open source audiogram generator meant to provide podcasters, radio professionals, producers, and audio makers a super easy way to share their work across social platforms, including Facebook and Twitter. So what this audiogram generator actually does is it turns MP3 and WAB files into video files. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So what I did is I recorded a short snippet and then we'll go through the steps one by one. So you can create your own audiogram video, which you can post on your YouTube and your social media channels. Hi, and welcome to All About Podcast. My name is Florante, and thank you so much for checking us out. Watch the full tutorial on how we created this audiogram video from a short audio recording. You can also use your audio snippets from your podcast episodes and use your audiogram video as a teaser and social media post to invite more listeners to learn more about you and your message. The first step that you need to do is to choose the audio file that you would like to create the audiogram video for. Next, choose the wave type. There are different options that you can have in there. For this, I'm going to make use of the bricks. And also you can set the weight position to either the button, the middle, or the top. And at the same time, you can also choose the wave color. So you can click on that color picker. And you can also choose the opacity. And at the same time, you can also change the background image. So I have an image from Pixabay that I'm going to use here. And you just have to make sure that the size is fit. So I'm just going to crop it. Once you have set the dimensions, go ahead and click on, click on OK. And then you can also add captions or uh, titles or text uh, components to your audiogram video. But this will not move, it's just going to be a static text. So this could be a title or a code or something that you would like to associate with the audiogram video. So I'll uh, just put our audiogram video, how to tutorial, that's what we're going to use. And you can also customize the text by changing the different font styles as well as uh, add in some effects like shadow and uh, make this padding and line spacing and you also have the blur effect okay i think that looks good now just put some background color okay i think yellow will be a perfect one for this Okay, so, all right, so I'll just go ahead and uh, see, let me just fix the weight position. I think it's going to be a lot better if I'm going to put this on the low or and then put the weight in the middle or at the top. Okay, the top looks better. So the good thing with this one is that you can just go back to uh, the text that you have created and you can just reposition if you think that you still need to realign those texts and make sure that they're in the right place. All right, so once you have completed that, you can click on generate and this will now upload the audio that you have chosen earlier. 
So this will take a couple of minutes depending on the length of the audio file that you have uh, uploaded. Okay, so this is the final product of the audiogram that we have created and all I need to do now is to download this one and upload it to YouTube so you can all have a listen and see for yourself. This is the first video on how to create an audiogram video. If you would like to see more videos on how to create an audiogram like this, please don't forget to click on subscribe. And if you have any questions or any suggestions on topics, you can leave them in the comments box. Thank you so much for your time and have a great day.